Welcome to my guide on how to use Gamma AI. In my opinion, it's an amazing application that helps to create presentations, documents and other content on any topic from scratch and it only takes a couple of minutes. This application was created for educators, students, startups, freelancers, corporate teams and others. Gamma AI is free to use, but the free version sets you some limits such as watermarks on your presentations, maximum of 10 slides per presentation, and also you can only create around 10 uh, presentations on a free plan. To use Gamma AI, you need a registered account uh, or you can just uh, simply log in using Google. I have left a refer link uh, in the description by using this link, you will get 100 extra tokens on your free plan. The application is available in 39 different languages. Once you log into your account, you will be taken to your workplace. From here, you can start uh, creating uh, new presentations, documents or other content. Simply by, by clicking on create new with AI, you will be able to start the process. Once you click on generate new, it will give you three options uh, how to use the AI. The first option is that you have your own text that you want to use for the presentation. Second option is to generate uh, using AI. And third option is if you want to upload a document or give us a URL that will be used on the basis of the presentation. Let's use the option to generate with AI. Now it will give us three options uh, from where we can choose. So we can choose either presentation, we can choose content for web pages, or we can create uh, documents. Next step is to choose how many slides we would like to have in our presentation. By default, it usually gives us uh, the option for it. If you have plus plan, which costs $10 per month, you can choose 10 cards. If you have pro plan, then you can choose up to 30 slides. For this example, let's use 10 cards and prompt the AI how to use Gamma AI. Let's use the language and click generate the outline. This will create the preview of the presentation so we can decide if we're happy with it or we want to change something uh, or do it again. If you go further down, we have the option on the settings to choose the amount of text per card. So there are three options. It's either brief, uh, that there's low amount of text, medium or detailed. It means there's a lot of text on the cards. And also there's an option to choose the image source. So as we're creating with AI, we just keep it as AI images. Click continue and this will take us to a new page where we can start picking a theme for our presentation. Choose the theme that's most appealing for you. And once you click on it, you can also see the preview of the theme. And once you have chosen the one that you like the most, just click generate. Now the AI will start generating uh, your presentation in live action. It can take up to one minute, so let's just wait right now. Creating a presentation from scratch using AI took us roughly 30 seconds. Now let's take a look at the presentation that the AI created. This is the most basic uh, version, so if there's anything that you would like to change, you still have the option. For example, if you don't like the layout or the theme, you can still change it manually or there's also option to use AI's help to shuffle everything, but this costs you tokens. So let's take a look at the full version of the presentation now. The document uh, of the presentation looks pretty much what I was expecting. So now let's do the next point, which is sharing. The application has made the sharing of the 
presentations rather easy. So there are a couple of options. The first option is that you can share it among the members in your workspace. The second option is you can send anybody the link which takes straight to the presentation. The third option is either to export it to PDF, to PowerPoint or to PNG. And as I mentioned before, unfortunately, to have the made in comma watermark removed, uh, you need to have at least plus version. To edit with comma AI, just click uh, on the slide on the button and choose the option that uh, you would like the most. So I thought the text is too long, so I chose it to shorten it and now it looks more convenient. Uh, uh, the only downside is that uh, each time you're trying to do it with the help of AI, it costs you extra points. Also, there's an option for the viewers to leave notes on your presentation so you can later check them and improve the presentation. Now I have covered all the basics on how to use Kamae for creating presentations and uh, other content. So in conclusion, what are the pros and cons of Gamma AI? I would say that the pros are that it's really easy to use. It gives a professional look on your presentations, interactivity, option for team collaboration and customization. The cons are related to the limitation on free version, also the learning curve for advanced uh, features and the internet dependency. Thank you for watching this guide and if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. I have left the referral link in the description. By joining using the link, you will be added extra 100 tokens for use. See you in the next one.